The MQ-9V Sky Guardian is designed to operate globally and provide a lot of agility to operational commanders uh, from the very hot uh, regions globally to the cold, the very cold uh, regions as well. So therefore, we're here to mature the capabilities of the MQ-9V Sky Guardian to operate in the cold, uh, but also the precipitation that comes with uh, those environmental conditions um, and therefore to become uh, the all a weather type of system of systems that the operational uh, commanders require and indicated to us they need to achieve operational effectiveness. We are in Grand Forks, North Dakota at the General Atomics Flight Test and Training Center. So our aircraft is designed, our entire system is designed for all weather capabilities, which obviously includes cold weather capabilities. We have specific ground support equipment that will allow us to both start our aircraft in these conditions and then to handle taxiing and takeoff. And then in flight, we have de-ice and anti-ice systems on our aircraft to handle flying in known icing conditions specific to cold weather environments. much more simpler than a larger um, defense type uh, aircraft. But also when you think of operating in the north, these resources are also very scarce. So you won't be able to transport the same amount of equipment these larger systems would require. So therefore it was designed with this in mind to be very, uh, very much an all weather operating system assistant. So part of what we're doing, and for the first time on this aircraft or on any of our General Atomics aircraft, is we are going to be applying both type 1 de-ice fluid and type 4 anti-ice fluid. And the anti-ice fluid specifically doesn't allow for any ice or snow contamination to affect our flight controls. So it will allow the aircraft to get off the ground in a contaminated cold weather environment. Well, you're out here for more than an hour or so, and it can be debilitating. So with the wind chill, I think operating in this environment and proving that we can operate in this environment extensively and successfully was satisfying for me. I think one of the bigger obstacles we had out here was just the simple cold. Uh, we're operating, we're used to operating in austere environments, uh, but the cold adds something extra special to it. So it doesn't matter who you are as a human being, minus 31 degrees Celsius is, is very cold. And you know, you could only have bare skin for 10 minutes and uh, which uh, my, my head is, uh, is testing right now.